Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. You can support this channel through the PayPal and subscribe star links below. Any and all donations are helpful. Nothing is too big or too small. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, Stoic Indifference. Fausto de Campo is the author of this book that teaches you basic mental discipline. They say that a mime is a terrible thing to waste. And so is your mind. Especially when you fall in love and put your mental well-being into the hands of a woman. Think for yourself. Structure your thoughts and improve your critical thinking skills. Pick up a copy on Kindle or paperback today. Sponsor link is down below. Now on with the memes. Number one, we have someone wearing a t-shirt that says, A girl without a schwing schwing is like an angel without wings. This guy looks better than Venti though. But seriously, this can mean a couple of things. Either it's a fellow in disguise, or it means a woman without a man in her life is an angel without wings. Here's my initial confusion, and then my further confusion. Moving on, we have a woman named Jessie responding to a meme complaining that there are too many male programmers according to women out there, but the number of male coal miners and garbage collectors is just fine. Jessie says women shouldn't do the horrible jobs, because they deserve higher pay and better jobs, and to let men settle for the scraps. But what she doesn't realize is that without the horrible jobs, women and entitled feminists wouldn't have anything including their cushy jobs. Number three is a woman complaining that her boyfriend is too agreeable with other people. For example, he ordered scrambled eggs and they were too runny for his taste. And so he didn't eat anything. Women don't like men that don't stand up for themselves, because then they won't stand up for her. The real reason she's upset though, is because she's creating drama. And he's not creating it for her to enjoy by yelling at waiters and waitresses. If the food is bad, I never eat at the same place ever again. Up next is a woman saying that men suffer in silence and it's mentally exhausting. Another woman pipes in and says that when men open up about their suffering, women just use it against them when they're mad. Never give a woman emotional ammo against you because they'll end up taking it out on you. Women also rely on showing off their bodies for attention. It's gotta be physically and mentally exhausting. Number five, it looks like Henry Cavill might be the next James Bond in Christopher Nolan's new film series. Hopefully this is gonna happen. I can't wait to see 007 wearing a cape flying around the place and fighting magical monsters. The name's Bond, Dungeon Master Bond. The only question I have is, will they make him put a dress on like a woman though? Moving on is the sexual exposure chart, showing you how many people you're potentially exposed to if both you and your partner have the same amount of partners. I was with a woman with a 50 plus body count without knowing it. How many people have I actually been exposed to? Try doing the numbers. So remember, always wrap up your schwing schwing. Number seven is Pamela Anderson as she stuns while going makeup free at the Paris Fashion Week. More like Paris Freak Show, am I right? Just look at what 30 years and a few STDs can do to you. The wall is undefeated and she's gone from the sweet dreams of young men to the nightmares of the old guys. She's pure nightmare fuel and reminds me of a nice burn victim that I once knew. Number eight, we have a woman saying there's tons of evidence that women bore of sex after living with a man for only one to four years. That's one reason why you should never move in with a woman, if you expect to continue to have bedroom time. She says it has to do with women struggling with monogamy. Men are often lied to and told that they'll get plenty of action after they get married. Meanwhile, all they get is a dead bedroom as the wife slowly starts looking like a crypt keeper with boobs. Up next is the difference between how South Asian guys and American guys react when they can't get laid. Indians get an arranged marriage within a month. American men, on the other hand, take up arms and write a manifesto. Plot twist though, the Indian guy's parents found them the first cousin to marry. But he won't have any problems with that so long as she's hot and a virgin. You know you're in a country where men have no game when they rely on their parents to get laid. Number 10, we have a woman shaming a man she went on a date with because he only paid for himself after she brought two friends along. She calls him heartless but then says the next time she will always ask before taking her friends with her. She learned accountability. What a shocker. Remember guys, paying for her friends isn't called being a gentleman. It's called being a stupid simp. Moving on, we have a man that attempted suicide and failed, and Slave sends him to the death penalty. This fellow looks like a very happy pappy, as he ended up getting his happy ending after all. Apparently in China, it's against the law to end yourself because you're basically evading taxes. Looks like this guy successfully failed his task. Number 12 is what I presume a lonely fans girl. Asking guys why they won't date someone like her, especially since such a girl can buy him a PlayStation 5 for Christmas. Imagine being a man that can't afford his own PlayStation 5. 
so they have to rely on a woman with only fans to bribe him with it. Aaron was probably rejected by some hot chat, and the next time she meets one, she's going to offer him a gaming console before he gets in her hole, as a way to basically get commitment to try and sweeten the deal. Up next in Japan, the question that's pondered quite extensively is which stocking type would you actually prefer? I dated Catholic schoolgirls that wore them as threes and fours, which in my opinion are the best. But if a woman is over 25, I would choose number one, because no one wants to see old hag legs. In the 90s, we got to see girls like this in school. Today, they rarely dress up like that anymore. Number 14, the world's first lesbian bishop calls for the church to remove crosses and instead install Muslim prayer spaces. Maybe she should go and tell the men over at the mosque what to do and see how well that goes over. She's the bishop of Stockholm and it looks like she has Stockholm syndrome from all the Muslim invaders in the country. I also thought a bishop was supposed to be celibate, but I guess it doesn't count when it's two female rumps bumping. Moving on, we have Madonna and her adopted 24-year-old son from Malawi. She looks creepy and they look like they're together. But Madonna's dating 29-year-old Joshua Popper, not much older than her son here. This guy also looks well-groomed, if you know what I mean. As Madonna gets older, she's increasingly looking like the clown from It. How much you want to bet that he's been tapping that? Number 16 is wavy, and he says that some little white girl between 8 and 10 saw him at a Starbucks, and then told her father, whoa, a beautiful chocolate man. Her father grabbed her arms and said, Emily, what the bleep is wrong with you? But I bet you anything she heard that from her mom, aunt, and possibly grandmother. That guy better teach his daughter now before she becomes a coal-burning single mother at some point. Up next is Selena Gomez, stunning everyone with a selfie from Paris. She has to take pictures from the chest up now because her bottom has expanded quite extensively. She's like those fat chicks on dating apps that take pictures of their cleavage and up. She hit the wall pretty hard and now looks average, and the media thinks that a five in Paris isn't newsworthy. Compared to some of her most recent pictures, this one is actually good, believe it or not. Number 18, a 14-year-old girl hung her grapist in the forest in Stockholm. I guess she wasn't a victim of Stockholm Syndrome. Looks like Sweden has had enough of this cultural enrichment and has now gone vigilante. Apparently, your boyfriend and three of his brothers are suspected in doing this to Habibi, the 26-year-old innocent taxi driver. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. This guy's also a pedo, technically. This will be an interesting case to follow. But somehow, I think that justice has already been served. Moving on is the president of Italy. She ran as a right winger, and when she got in, she immediately ran the country from the center left. Maybe she's about to go on maternity leave as Elon came over for a delivery, if you know what I mean. Everyone is surprised, but what they don't understand is that women are communists by nature. Number 20, we have a man from Taiwan getting a successful transplant of a 13-inch schlong from a black man. The question I have is that death schlong fully operational. Unfortunately, this is a story from iFunny. But if it was true, I wouldn't be surprised. But just because a millionaire buys a Ferrari doesn't also mean that he knows how to drive. Remember, when someone shares a story like this, they better send you pics or it didn't happen. Number 21 is a guy that's proud because his girlfriend had sex with their side piece. He says the guy came over last night and they introduced themselves to each other. The guy cared about his hobbies too. They've been practicing non-monogamy. I'll take who is destiny for 500, Alex. Physically, she might still be there, but she checked out emotionally a long time ago. And if I was him, this is what I would be doing. This is so sad that this guy's dead grandfather is crying. Moving on, it looks like someone discovered my secret. I used to play World of Warcraft with a female elf and made sure she wasn't wearing any armor. I guess playing with male characters and watching their backsides must be gay or something. Why does everyone think that Laura Croft was so popular? For many teenage boys back then, that was the closest they'd get to a girlfriend back then. Number 23 is Lily, and she noticed a guy that was in a credit score group, and she was wondering if he could co-sign her $14,000 car loan. And in return, he would either get a handwritten thank you or a one-month subscription to her lonely fans. Are we sure that Andrew Tate isn't behind this account and just milking simps out of their money like he did before? I guess those are some of the most expensive nudie pics in the world, and if he falls for this scam, he's an idiot. Up next is the question, would you rather have $10 million dollars or a chance to wait this table. I'd wait the table, but not to meet these guys, but instead because waiters can poison the food. I would poison them all and demand 10 million from each for the antidotes. Unfortunately, I probably wouldn't be able to enjoy the money as they'd all hunt me down after that. Number 25 and the last one for today is an article proving that child bullies are sexier, more popular, 
and get more dates than their victims when they grow up. The Manosphere has been saying that women like bad boys for over a decade now. Looks like the science proves it. But the nerds that were bullied built the internet and used social media to concentrate much of the money and attention and soy society to themselves. I'm looking at you, suck the cuck. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Give this video a thumbs up to help it reach the algorithm and reach more viewers. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, remember I make these videos for free, so donate if you can into PayPal and subscribe to our links below for more content like this. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.